Podcast. Here's KATC Chief Meteorologist Rob Perillo. Welcome back. Well, it looks like another couple of days of a uh, little unsettled weather, especially tomorrow. Wednesday starting to look better following what the European model has been telling us the last couple of runs, which means drier weather toward the end of the week and then eventually hotter weather down the line. More on that in just a bit. So let's take a look at the big picture as we look at the upper level pattern. I like to look at the water vapor. One, you can pick out your upper level lows, your deep tropical moisture. And we had two things going against us a couple of, uh, say, four or five days ago. We were a little worried about moisture coming in from the Yucatan Peninsula and then coming towards us. Well, this week, low pressure system has been dumping on Florida and is going to move out to sea and eventually up the north Northeast coast. In fact, the hurricane center is giving it a 20% chance of development, but it's going to be a nothing system. And we got this other upper level low that's producing heavy rains to our north. And then the one we thought it was going to come in and kind of meander around and be drawing moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. Well, this is going to swing around and also move to the north. So it's going to give us a good chance of storms again tomorrow. But as it moves northward, some dry air will come in in between. So it's going to be a little bit of everything, a little bit more sunshine though for Wednesday. Still the risk of storms Wednesday, but as we finish out the week, rain chances gradually toning down and that means temperatures will be coming up. So we have flood watches uh, from northwestern Louisiana, eastern Texas on northward. Also severe thunderstorm watches as well. Uh, just uh, been a rough go of it for our friends here and also some big storms down in South Texas. They'll be heading out into the Gulf of Mexico and locally as we take a look at what's been going on across Louisiana just the last six hours. I had some hefty storms come into the western part of the state this afternoon and then rolled through uh, mainly northern portions of Acadiana, but we did see a few showers roll through Lafayette and portions of the rest of Acadiana right around sunset or shortly before that. And for now, it looks pretty quiet across Acadiana. I think we were spying on a few showers over toward New Orleans. Yeah, we're seeing that down toward the LaRose area, just west over toward Metairie of New Orleans, and then on the other side of the lake by Hammond. But that's where that activity is going to stay. So as we look at our forecast model, we'll go with the RPM. That's been doing a pretty decent job. None of the models have been good. Fair to partly cloudy skies early tomorrow, and then scattered showers. Ooh, this is a new run. Just came in during commercial breaks. So I like the way this looks. Round of showers and maybe some storms right around 10 mid morning, and then a little bit of a break and now I want to see a few more showers popping up in the afternoon. Will the model help us out? Yeah, there's a few late afternoon, early evening. Bottom line, we still got to go with rain chance at about 40, 50, 60 percent for tomorrow. Moving into Wednesday, Wednesday morning, fair skies and look at this Wednesday during the day, just a few isolated showers showing up. I'll keep rain chance at about 40 percent for Wednesday and then drop it down thereafter. So there's our week meandering low, uh, but again, drier air coming in as we head into the middle part of the week and then that fades away. Don't see much in any uh, significant rainfall for us as we finish out the week and go into the weekend. And the European model was starting to point to this yesterday. So a nice looking weekend, but a ridge of high pressure building in dry air and north wind. That means lower 90s for us as we go into next week for sure. So in the near term rainfall, what are we going to see? Some folks a little bit of rain to wet the ground. Others a lot more in spots. Notice the hot spot. Western Louisiana, then over toward Eastern Louisiana for tomorrow. But anywhere in Acadia, you might see an inch or two of rain and a slow moving storm, a typical summer thunderstorm scenario. So temperatures tonight, lower 70s. Tomorrow will be in the low to mid 80s. I think we'll see more cloud cover tomorrow as compared to today. 70s again tomorrow night, maybe upper 60s, and then getting a little bit warmer as rain chances gradually go down. So it should be quiet for the rest of the night. 71 the low with fair to partly cloudy skies tomorrow. More of the same on and off showers and storms in between a little sunshine as well. Got a little mixed bag there. 84 the high rain chances edging downward as we finish out the week and head into the weekend. And then as we go into next week, the heat is on temperatures in the lower 90s, but low is near 70. So it's going to be a dry heat as we say. And by the way, a week from today, hurricane season officially begins. That's it for weather right now. We'll be right back right after this.